So I've been getting a few requests recently to do a quick instructionable as to how to use an animated GIF as a background on your desktop. So the first thing that you're going to need if, well, uh, for all, for the people out here who don't want to figure out how to do it themselves, how to record and then convert or, or use the secondary method to convert a Shockwave flash file into a GIF, uh, I will be including the wallpapers that I use in the description below and like it should be a Mediafire link and you can just download that and just use that as you please. But for the people who want to use your, you know, your own games or your own little clips for uh, for your wallpaper, there's two ways you can do it. The way that I originally used it in the video I submitted to the subreddit was uh, something I recorded off of the blacklight. Um, I just, you know, set up, it, what you need to do that is just a simple, rec any recording software that can record as at your screen's resolution, so I'm using um, 1920 by 20, 1080, uh, and I'm using D3D gear because I like it. Um, and then you need Photoshop or an alternative that can convert a video file into a GIF. Uh, on the subreddit, someone else brought to my attention there's another method that might be a little more color true, might be a little more smooth, is to take the original Shockwave Flash um, little video clips and actually convert them directly into a dot .gif. Uh, so first of all, you need you need the dot .swift to use. So I took them directly from the um, from Blacklight in the, um, what is it? like the Foxcat and then movies or something like that. I'll show you the, the direct directory. And you need Adobe Animator or an alternative. I tried to use online converting software to convert these massive Shockwave Flash movies into, but it does does not work here. I'll actually show you. This is what happened when I tried to convert it. It's not exactly what you want. It really isn't. So don't, don't I wouldn't bother with converting software if you have an alternative to animator I know because the secondary method for for converting uh, movies to gifs is Photoshop and Photoshop has many alternatives that can also do the same thing but I'm not I don't know about animator and finally what you need to uh, use these backgrounds as gifs is the bionics wallpaper animator or an alternative I use this because it's what I'm moderately used to it's not the best software but it somewhat works and ignore the the constant loading screen it never stops that it never stops so first of all I'm gonna first gonna show you how to convert uh, the original dot software flash file into um, a GIF. so this is the file that you're gonna get this is what's gonna be zipped and under the description I'm gonna include the recorded GIFs that I've used um, yeah, these, these are the ones I'm converted, and these are the Shockwave Flash files. The location of these is set in right here, right into your Steam apps or wherever you put your Blacklight folder. Um, the loading old, loading contact, and loading login screen do not convert very well. I don't know if it's just, it's just the nature of the Shockwave Flash file, but here, let's show you how to convert them if you ever find any more that you want to do. with. So open up your Animate CC if you have that. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to new HTML5 and you're going to want it to be 1920 by 1080. If you don't do this, if you any try to convert this into a GIF, it's going to be a lot. Uh, it's going to be cut up. A section of your GIF is going to be quite cut. 24 is fine. Uh, okay, so this is beautiful, very beautiful. And now we're going to click import, import to stage. And I have mine here magically in my quick thing. And let's use login because I haven't done login yet. And if okay, this is it. This is this is the Shockwave Flash file in Animate. And if you hit Enter, it'll show a preview of what it's going to look like. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh yes. Now to convert to a GIF, export, export movie. Uh, I'm going to save mine right into converted GIFs. I don't think I've done this one. Login is what it was called, and you want to want it to move this to animated GIF, not GIF sequence. GIF sequence will give you lots of pictures that you don't want. Save that. Uh, yep, width and height is good. I would turn on interlace. You don't need transparent on a black GIF. That's unnecessary, but you know, you use, use whatever settings you like. 256 is what. Uh, this is why what I said the uh, the um, the colors would be better on a conversion because when you're converting from a video to a GIF, it only uses 256, and I don't know if the standard is any better, but it looks better to me. So it's going to export T. That should be monetary relatively quick because it's a very short shockwave flash file. And now when I go here, it should pop up. All right. All right. There we go. That's what you want, isn't it? That is what you want. Uh, so now to show you how to use this to uh, in here. So where is it? This is it. Uh, of course, this is in testing. And I've actually not used this folder anymore, so I have to change the folder. And this thing freezes quite a bit. 
that's just in its nature. It freezes more than I'd like it to. So let's use converted GIFs. <sighs> Select that folder and let's see if it figures out what's going on. Or did it already? Oh, well, hello. There we go. Very quick. As for this software's effect on your processing power, you can see that it doesn't actually take up much. Yeah, it's only that's very little, very little, zero percent CPU power, and only a few megabytes of your of your RAM. But I would not recommend using this on a laptop unless it's plugged in. I don't know its effect on battery life, but I've seen some complaints that it drains your battery. I don't know how it drains your battery if it's not using any CPU power, but hey, that's not for me to judge. So that what that's what it looks like. I would say it's pretty good. Looks pretty good. Um, it might look better in real life because you know you know how YouTube destroys videos and its compression. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to take a video recording that you already have and uh, you know plug that into uh, what is that? I think it's Photoshop and convert that into a GIF. So you should have your recording already made. I don't think I have one actually. So yeah, I must have deleted it. So I might as well just show the whole thing. So where's Steam? Here's Steam. Let's open up Blacklight. Oh wait, I think actually. I think actually the servers are down right now. So I can't use Blacklight. But you know what I can use? I can use Skyrim again. But you know, that's okay. So here, actually, I'm not going to show you this because it's unnecessary. You know how to record something. Um, some quick tips, though. Um, when you do a recording, you don't want it to be very long. You want it to be very short, around 15 seconds. And because you're doing this method and you're, it's not going to have very great colors, it's going to be only 256 colors, and you're going to have to uh, try to fix something that's very dark. You can see this background right here works moderately well because it's not very many colors. And the one that I was using for Skyrim at the beginning of the video was just black, white, and a few colors in between. The less colors it is, the better it's going to look. So very simple. Just take your recording software, make sure the resolution is set at whatever re resolution you're using for your wallpaper, record that for, I would say, a maximum of 15 seconds because Photoshop can only use, uh, I think, 500 frames. Now, when you're recording, you're going to want to drop the frame rate to about 20, or 20 is good. I would say 20 is good. Anything more than that is going to be unnecessary because GIFs cannot run at that resolution when converting them. So uh, use whatever, I would say, you want the visual quality to be the largest, but uh, for graphic, I mean not graphics, for frame rate, it can be relatively low. That's my that's my tip of the day. And I'll show you in a second why. The okay, now that you have your video clip, and I'll show you what mine looks like. Uh, I kind of betrayed my own rules here and used something with a lot of color, but hey. We live once, right? Notice it's very short, only about seven seconds. The loop won't be great, but that's up to you to find a, a video clip with a good loop. The Skyrim background you saw in the beginning works well because it's mostly uh, just black and white, and it's just a smoke rising and falling. So it's a it's a very easy to loop around, and yet it is quite seductive. So first of all, if you do have Animator open, just close that. You don't want to have two Adobe things open at once. That's never a good idea. It's slow as shit. Uh, and then open up your Fiti Shop. And this can close. Okay, Photoshop is open. So what you want to do is you want to import video frames to layers. Find your little Torchlight 2 clip. Uh, this is why you don't want to use a very high fresh rate video in this in this method at least. So uh, I am right in that Photoshop will only accept 500 layers at a time or 500 frames because this converts every single frame to a layer. So even if you have a very high refresh rate, it will only um, you'll have to limit your frames to every other frame. So it doesn't matter how many frames you have, you're going to have a minimum. However, if you do have a very short clip, you can have 60 frames a second just because it's just less frames. So let's OK that. And it will convert each and every frame of the video into a Photoshop layer. There you go. OK. And now that it's in this form, you can just go to File, and I think it's Save as Web. What is this? Save your web. Here it is. Okay, let's open up this beautiful, hideous menu, and we'll load into it. Right now, it's it's trying to see what colors it can use. Uh, this is why the this the converting a flash wave file to a GIF gives you better colors because the color table isn't always the best. That's why in the first video I submitted to the subreddit, it wasn't that great. And you can see it's going to have a lot of pixelation a lot of pixelation for this so you're just gonna have to suck it up really um, there's not really much you can do about it in here the maximum is 256 colors so let's let's just save that shall we 
and it'll ask for where. I'm going to save it to here and name it Cheech. Not there. I want it here. There you go. Save that. And it'll load in. Now, this might take a little while. Um, definitely longer than converting a Shockwave Flash to a uh, GIF. Yeah, the Shockwave Flash method is better, but only it only works if you have Shockwave Flash videos available to you. So in other games, you won't have that. So this this is the final product. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. I would say that the pixelation is very apparent around the, the dark green areas, and the loop isn't very good. But that's how you convert it to that. And now let's show you how to plug it in to uh, this Bionic thing again, because you know I've, I'm guessing some of you have forgotten already, even though you can't figure out how to reload. Find the GIF. It's very simple, really. It's very simple. Select the folder, GCH. It'll animate it. This is when uh, it'll take a lot of your resources. Well, Photoshop overwhelms it. Yeah, you can see that it's bumped up to about 13 or 400. But once it's done, it's done. And it's it's gorgeous. It's wonderful. It doesn't take too much system resources. The main problems I have with this software is not how it animates the GIFs, not how much uh, resources it takes, but on startup it does not work the way you want it to. It doesn't work very well at all, really. Um, if you start it up, it'll it'll stutter, it'll stop. I've had a few times where I started up and it played very smoothly, but overall it's not the best of software, but it is here. So, you know, good luck. Good luck with creating your your beautiful invention.